Now let's talk about checks, checkmates, draw, and stalemates. Those are four different concepts on how the game can actually almost end, if not end. The latter three definitely ended. What is a check? Check is a way when you actually make a move that hits the opponent's king, and thereby you force him to do something about it. Here's a good example. I'm just going to make a couple of moves. So what, with his last move, white makes a check. He's forcing a check against the black king, thereby making him to either retreat, close the line, or basically push. Like So it's kind of important to notice this because a forcing move of that kind is essential on many levels. This is what I would call a forcing move. Check is a forcing move. It does not end the game. It does not necessarily mean that somebody is going to win or lose. It means that we have a move that is actually important enough and threatening. If black plays a move like c6 or anything, perhaps white would have to retreat because his, his bishop is being threatened. But the check itself did not give black any time or opportunities to do something else. So when you have a check going on, consider it important to, however, don't play it. Not every check is going to be that meaningful. It's like shooting at a target that's just too far. Sometimes it will be good if you know that you're going to hit it. But if you don't, if you don't you better, you'll be better off keeping that shot f for when he gets closer. Otherwise, you just scare him and... Uh, He's not coming closer. This is an important way to understand how the concept works. Now, what is a checkmate? The easiest way to understand how checkmate works is if we talk about some brilliant checkmate. For example, let's talk about the kid's checkmate. Now, this is a checkmate that I do not personally recommend you consider, but you would actually like to be thinking about um, queen h5. And so, for example, if that comes out, black could do a move of knight f6. So, what's coming after that? After the move of knight f6, black is going to challenge the black queen, the white queen. And so, the question being is, uh, what can white do? Now, when you look at this position and the possibilities, what you realize is that all that white has to do is really just deliver that check on f7 which doesn't just make a check but it's actually a checkmate checkmate appears when the king is checked similar to the previous case when the king is being attacked but not just that it happens when the king is being attacked and it cannot move anywhere safely now that is something special we call it a checkmate it's important to understand that checkmates all the way on how the game ends and thereby this is the most important goal that every player must have to deliver a checkmate to the opponent apparently not every game ends like that some games end in resignation or in draws which we'll talk about in a moment however the ultimate goal of each player is to deliver a checkmate and it can happen due to many different reasons and many different combinations permanent check, a way or a position in which the opponent just cannot run or cannot basically find a safe place where his king can go. It is kind of important to think about it as a the ultimate goal, the absolute ultimate goal. Now what I would like to talk about right now is draw. Now drawing may happen for many different reasons, by, either by players agreeing to that, or basically having a perpetual. An interesting example may appear, for, for instance, if, uh, let's say, black defends the checkmate, white moves the knight here, this, black castles, I'm just going to play some moves so we get to the point, and um, perhaps here, Black's knight moves somewhere, so white takes the pawn, destroying black's pawn's defenses. So here he cannot checkmate with the queen, but he doesn't want to lose. 
His position is way too strong, way too powerful. So what do we do? Well, all those checks that we could do can help us to achieve the so-called perpetual. Perpetual check is the way to draw. Check, another one, and another one, and another one. When, they get, when we get to the threefold repetition, so one position of repeats for three times, we get a draw. That's important to understand because besides the mutual agreement for a draw, this could be a very interesting way sometimes to save a game by making a perpetual or causing a position that will closely resemble uh, like a drawing chance. It's valuable to understand and principally get the idea of drawing. It's one of the best ways on how you can save a position as well as actually how you can pay attention so that your opponent doesn't save it in case you are the one who has an advantage. Now let's talk about stalemate. Now this is a perfect example for a stalemate. With his last move, white exchanges here, and then black takes back with the pawn. Now apparently, as you can see, black has a pawn up, but then white has a rook up. So his advantage turns out to be much bigger and more relevant than black's. So white moves his king, hoping to advance it. Or he can move his knight, doing the same. And we could say that he has an advantage, is that right? Mm -mm. No, it's not. This is not going to lead anywhere. Because black has no move. When there is a position in which somebody doesn't have any moves to do, we could call that a stalemate. The black king cannot go here. The knight is being closed so that he has nowhere to jump. The pawns can't move. And thereby, we have a stalemate position. A player who has no chance to make a move without being checked is basically being stalemated. In a stalemate position, the game is considered draw. There's a half point to each player so nobody wins. It's a stalemate. Not a checkmate, a stalemate. The difference between these two is that a stalemate is when the kink is not attacked and one has no places, no pieces to move. Keep in mind, if there was any move available, any at all, doesn't matter its quality, that wouldn't have been a stalemate. If the kink was checked and there would have been no way where to move the kink, that would have been a checkmate. However, when the kink is not attacked and there is no move at all, we call that a stalemate. A good example to understand how a game can be drawn by very natural means except the perpetual and the mutual agreement. Three-fold repetition is another, but that we talked about already.